Hello! For this video, we're back with another integral and this one is posted by Y. Fajardo on a Facebook group called Math Review Problems. So we are asked to find the integral of tan x plus secant x minus 1 all over tan x minus secant x plus 1. I actually have four solutions for this problem but I'll only use uh, one of the solutions in this video. I'll post the rest of the solutions in another set of videos. So for this one, for this uh, uh, video, I will be using what I refer to as a conjugate method. So kapag ka given ka ng expression, particularly for trigonometric uh, functions sa denominator, uh, an intuitive first step is to multiply the entire term by the conjugate of that expression. In this case, what I want to consider as the conjugate is the term involving this group. So that's tan minus tan x minus secant x and 1. So what I wanted to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by tan x minus secant x minus 1. Tan x minus secant x minus 1. So this way, the numerator becomes the product of these whole terms times tangent x minus secant x minus 1 over this one since this is a plus b and a minus b where a is tangent x minus secant x and b is your uh, 1 so this a plus b a minus b this becomes a squared minus b squared so this entire term here becomes tangent x minus secant x squared minus 1 now what's left to do is to simplify this thing Let's start with the denominator because it looks shorter. So this one becomes tangent squared x minus 2 secant x tangent x plus secant squared x minus 1 where this is a minus b squared. So a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So I hope you still remember this uh, identity. Anyway, from here, we note that secant squared x minus 1 is just tangent squared x by the Pythagorean identity for secant and tangent. Therefore, this whole term becomes tangent squared plus tangent squared squared tangent, tangent squared becomes 2 tangent squared of x minus 2 secant x tangent x. Okay, and then I can factor out the 2 tangent x. This becomes... 2 tangent x times tangent x minus secant of x. Okay. Now what? Now what we do next is to simplify the numerator. So this is denominator. Okay, one down. The numerator is we expand and I wanted to expand it by grouping these two terms here here and here para ang mangyari is like a minus 1 then b minus 1 para mas madali lang siya expand so i multiply this first terms tangent x plus secant x times tangent x minus secant x then multiply the negative one negative of tangent x minus secant x and then the negative one times this term so this is negative of tangent x plus secant x and then the last terms are negative 1 times negative 1 so that's positive 1 so the entire thing here becomes tangent x plus secant x times tangent x minus secant x that's just tangent squared x minus secant squared x and then this one becomes negative tan x minus tan x that's 2 tan x and then negative of negative secant x minus secant x that cancels out. So you're left with just 0 there. And then you have the plus 1 at the end. So plus 1 here. But again, using the, the Pythagorean identity we used earlier, this is just negative 1. Because tangent squared x plus 1 is equal to secant squared x. So when I rearrange that, I get negative 1. So negative 1 here then positive 1 here, it cancels out. So what you're left with the numerator is 
negative 2 tangent x. Okay, so now the, the entire expression, this one becomes the integral of numerator is negative 2 tangent x over 2 tangent x times tangent x minus secant x dx. Of course, this cancels out. And then I'll just distribute the negative so that it becomes secant x minus tangent x minus tangent x. And the, the two cancels out as well, of course. So we are left with the integral of dx over secant x minus tangent x. So again, I want to use again the conjugate method. So I want to multiply this by the conjugate. So times secant x plus tangent x, secant x, tangent x. So this becomes dx over secant squared x minus tangent squared x. Again, difference of squares, a minus b, a plus b. So this simplifies out to b. Oh, nawala yung secant x plus tangent x sa numerator. Yan. So again, this one, paulit-ulit na tayo, this one is, equal, always, is equal, always equal to 1 by the Pythagorean identity. So we are left with integral of secant x plus tangent x dx. Now this two, uh, we know already from our uh, uh, early derivatives, uh, anti-derivatives class. So this one's ln of secant x plus tangent x plus ln of secant x plus c. So this is our final answer. ln secant x plus tangent x plus ln, x, ln secant x plus c. So I hope you learned something from this video. And medyo basic lang yung approach natin dito. And ito yung pinaka-intuitive na gawin. So once you encounter problems na may something like secant x minus 1 or something in the, in the denominator, always try to use the conjugate. So um, sometimes it leads you to, to the right track. That's it for this video and thank you for watching. And w watch out for the next uh, solutions for this problem. Thank you.